Good afternoon, guys. Today is the 8th of March, uh, 2021. I'm coming to you not with a Bible study, but with some visions. Um, one vision was in the time of prayer I had today, and another one was in my time of study. So right off the bat, as always, take all these visions to God. Let him confirm and establish and, and let it be a part of your walk with him. Um, but to start off with the first vision, um, just like when I had another encounter of the rain type of situation I had, I shared in a live stream. Um, this time today I was guided and I was led by the Lord to take some time to pray, go into prayer with me. I felt that once again, that, that tug and others have felt that before. And in this time of prayer, I really encountered God in a new way. I was just really seeking his face, really wanting his presence. And um, of course, he, he filled my room. He filled the place I was at praying. And at that time, um, during my time of prayer, I began to see, um, I'm trying to explain it the best way. I see it looked, it's, I began to see this curtain it looked like. And it was like a curtain that was hanging from a rod. And it seemed like God was showing me this curtain, but it was a color of white and light blue, white and light blue and this whole thing. And, and in this vision, as I was in it praying, it, I was really close up to it. So I couldn't really see the, the ends of it, but I did somewhat. And so I was looking at this and I couldn't really identify it. And I was like, okay, I was praying in the law, still praying and still praying and still praying. I'm like, Lord, this is a curtain you're showing me because it seemed like it was moving, but yet it was still at the same time. Right. And so what I, I was seeking the Lord to help me understand what I'm seeing, because I knew it didn't. It looked like a curtain, but I knew it wasn't that it was still something different. Then what the Lord did by his grace, he like. In the vision, he like zoomed me out so I can see a better view of it. And what God showed me was that it was a waterfall. It was literally a waterfall. Um, the waterfall was pouring out. It was coming out so fast. Um, and it was supernaturally coming out fast. It wasn't as a waterfall you would see on any, any mountain, any place where you see the water come off and you see the mist, even the mist was still in control. The mist that came off the water wasn't even mist. It was still controlled to a confined space, which was showing me, which is showing me now actually, that God is not gonna waste any drop of his outpouring. He's not gonna waste one drop of it. Um, that's why I kept seeing it and it looked like it was moving, but yet it was still um, what God was revealing to me, too, in this vision is that this this I want to call it curtain, <laughs> this rip, this waterfall that looked like a curtain to me was looking that way. It's because of how powerful it's going to be, how not nothing's going to be wasted like he just showed me just now. Um, he showed me that the, the color of the white and the blue was the power, the rushing. Everyone has seen rushing, uh, a rushing river, rushing rapids. Everyone's seen a waterfall. And when it's rushing so far, the water turns white and not as blue. But in this, I saw that it was the mixture of both, which if you look, I'm sure if you were to look at the colors of those two, it would tell even a deeper meaning to this vision. Um, one thing else I wanted to say is that it seemed like there was still a purpose to why I saw it as a curtain first. It seemed like as I looked at it, the first perspective I saw it as a curtain still had a meaning that not to take away that it was a curtain, but to see that, yes, it looks like a curtain, but yet it's this is how God was explaining it to me and showing me that this vision, like, don't, don't ignore the fact you saw it as a curtain, Zach. There's a purpose in that and there's a reason. So take that to the Lord too. And of course, as always, guys, if you are receive any revelation from the Holy Spirit, you are more than welcome to comment below. Um, so that is such a, a blessing and re revelation I got to share with you guys today on, today on that. Um, in addition to that, I feel like I'm missing out on anything to say about that curtain. Um, 
Oh, the reason why, thank you, God, thank you. The reason why it seemed like a curtain is because the, 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 um, the thickness of the water, there was no break in it. You couldn't see past to the other side like you would if you were really up close to a, wa to a waterfall in reality. You could see through it and see, okay, there's something behind it. No, you could not see that. There was something so supernatural about this waterfall. It was so supernatural. Um, almost like there in this waterfall, there was something behind it, but it, it could be hidden. And I'm not so sure, um, but that could be the case too. Um, so for the second vision I had, um, and this was in my time of study, um, I was studying and God was leading me to read in the book of Revelations, verse 21. And I'm going to read the verse he showed me to the verse he had me reading and what I saw. So I was in verse chapter 21, verse six. And he said unto me, it is done. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and end and the end. I will give unto him that is a thirst of the fountain of the water of life freely. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So when, when I read that verse, it was God. He highlighted the word freely. And I looked at that word and I kept looking and I was taken into a vision. So in this vision, um, those who have, may have seen some prior videos, I've seen the river of life about three or four times, about three or four times now. And um, this time was so unique and different. Um, I've seen the river of life where it was coming over a ledge and going back and keep it going straight. I've seen the river of life where there was one time I was looking, I was on the edge of the river of life and I was looking down at it and it looked more white and I could see the life in it. It was supernatural. I could see the life in the water and it wasn't that I know the Bible says I, you can, you thirst what I felt it felt way more than thirsty looking at this water. It felt like my mind, my heart, my being wanted to consume this water. It wasn't just like I haven't drank water for a while. It was like someone gave me a gallon of water to drink and I saw the river of life and I was like, I have to drink it and consume it. I had to, it, it was like I had to be in that thing. Okay, that's one desire I felt in prior visions is that I had to get in this water. I had to be in it. I had to consume it. It was like I if you were <laughs> if you were some kind of drug addict and you didn't get your fix over months and you finally got able to get it. But it wasn't that negative evil way. It was just a pure yearning. It was like I had to get in there. Right. This time. In this vision, I was looking straight down straight the river of life. And one thing to know, guys, the river of life just keeps going. It just keeps going and it keeps going and it just keeps going, guys. The river of life just goes. And in this section, I was above the river of life and I could tell it was like I was in the center. I wasn't on the edge. I wasn't standing. I wasn't. I was literally hovering above it, above it, looking straight down the center of it, in the center of the river of life, above it. You know what I'm saying? So it's like I was here, and I'm looking about this far, right? I'm sitting here. I'm floating. I'm looking this far, and I see a person, and this person was a man, and I really can't tell who this person was. I just knew this was a saint in heaven. And I could tell that this saint had the white robe. And just to describe what the white robe looked like to me, it looked beautiful. It looked heavy, but it wasn't heavy. You could tell it was just perfect for that person. And um, the river of life, uh, the, not the river of life, the robe that he, this person was wearing, it was white, beautiful white, but yet it somehow seemed see-through. And it seemed like there was maybe like glistening in it in his in his robe, but it was it was beautiful. It was it was no material from heaven. I mean, no material from earth, but a material from heaven, from heaven itself, of material that can nowhere be found here ever. 
it was beautiful. So let that be a hope to you guys that you got you got robes waiting, and it's it's amazing what they look like. They look phenomenal, um, and they fit you just perfectly, actually. Um, so I'm watching this man, and I see him have this type. It, it looked like a bucket, but it seemed like a heavenly bucket. <laughs> and to, one thing to know about heaven is that um, everything in heaven is is uh, light years. Reality is better than this reality here. A bucket down here and compared to heaven, it would be like you would spend a billion dollars to get the bucket I saw in heaven. Okay. It's, it's light years. It's, it's totally different. Um, so this bucket looked like a bucket, but it really wasn't. It was heavenly. And this man was dipping his dipping the bucket in the water to go do something with it. And I never got to see what he did, but I just saw him doing that act. And um, from that, I saw how blue the water was. Um, God really emphasized the blueness of this water. That, like I said in prior times, my prior visit, visit visions of the river of life, the water got really emphasized the life of it, the the reason, the 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 substance in it. And this time, God wanted to emphasize the color of it. And I saw it as the most solid blue I've ever seen. Um, it, it wasn't a dark blue. It wasn't a light blue. It was just solid. It was just solid and very still. That was one thing I noticed, too. The river of life is always still. There's been one vision I've seen where, the, where I've seen the river of life move. And when it was moving in the prior visions, it sounded like a song or a melody. It sounded like... It just sounded like music when it was hitting the the rocks it was falling down onto and it was like a constant music but you never it never got old it was crazy so there was that um in this vision like i said it was it was a solid blue um it was it seemed very um lonely i only saw this one man there he was far in the distance and he was gathering water in a bucket but usually you would think that the river of life is filled with saints in this section in this vision i saw it was just him but i know that's what god was referring to as it was freely the word freely that it was also open space it's not crowded the river of life is not crowded there's enough space for everybody um and that's something to be encouraged about as well and uh, one part of this vision, it was flat plain. It was flat. I remember seeing grass patches and I saw, of course, just simple dirt there. And it was just beautiful. The grass was that, that bold, luscious green color. Nothing faded. Everything, of course, in heaven was perfect. And it was in that vision. Um, the last thing I'll say about this is that while I was looking and experiencing this, I instantly felt the one thing I always recognize going to heaven. And it's that peace, guys. It's the peace. There is a particular peace that only heaven can carry. It is just there. And it's beyond description. It's beyond understanding. But you always notice it. It's your being. Your being notices it. It's not just like, oh, I, it feels peaceful here. No, it's not just an internal peace. It's a tangible peace in the atmosphere. And it was there too. And I always, and I could tell that coming out that vision as well. And I felt that in that vision as well. So this is what I wanted to share. This is what the uh, Lord had me come on here to share with you today. So as always, take it to the Lord. And this blessed you share for others. This is encouragement, guys. This is encouragement. Um, God is doing things. God is his promises. He, he has things, everything ready for you. When I was in my studies today, reading through Revelations 20 and 21, I felt the joy of the Lord. I felt God being joyous. He, it was like he was joyous to present this, joyous to have this ready, joyous for this to be a reality for his people. So this was something that God really took pleasure in. He took pleasure in doing this for us. So uh, let this be encouragement. And um, that's pretty much it. So I love y'all. Y'all be safe. I'll see you on the next video. And see you later.